half of the non-conference. We played really good in the second half in Little Rock against UCA. I think it's perfectly timed because I think uh, we're going to need it against Creighton on Tuesday. Uh, a really, really um, good offensive team, maybe maybe the best offensive team, including UConn, that we've played all season. A um, lot of uh, a lot of returners, a lot of kids that have played together. Ten. 10 kids that really know how to play the game and I'm glad that we're playing well, kind of settled into our, our new rotation uh, with injuries. And um, as a result of having played well, going into tomorrow, uh, excited, but uh, very respectful of, of the job that Creighton has done coming off a win. They've played three games in five days. So hopefully travel uh, will give us a little bit of an advantage, uh, but I don't expect that it'll be a lot. Paul, let her rip. Uh, Coach, can, I guess first, uh, can you give us an update on uh, who's available tomorrow, and uh, and and we'll go from there. Barring any surprises between now and then, it'll be the same roster we had in, in Little Rock. Okay. What, same available uh, what roster. St okay. What stands out for uh, for this Creighton team? I mean, is it shooting? Is it or is it just experience? Well, no, it's not. It's I mean, they they've got some young kids too. It's it's their system, Jim. If you anybody that's been around knows the job that Jim does. Uh, and his staff do teaching uh, offense. Uh, and, and not to say that they're not good defensively either. They, they really scheme you. They are going to be very scout specific. They're going to be very well prepared. Anybody that schedules Creighton knows what you're getting into. Uh, they can pick you apart. They're extremely balanced. You look at them, they got, you know, five kids that average almost double figures. Uh, they're like us. They can hit people. They can be somebody different. The, the Jensen kid had 17 in the first quarter last night completely changed uh you know some of the things that you, you might rep, write about her on your scout um just that you know she's playing really well they can all hit you that way though they they go 10 deep uh very very clear identities very very clear roles which tells you they're well coached um and and they do what they do uh, you can't speed them up uh you can't slow them down uh you have to play they they dictate that uh, they've got a really good point guard that you can't speed up. Um, they've got five players uh, that can stop and post you up at any given time or step out and hit a three. Uh, extremely versatile. Uh, don't win just one way. If you guard one action, they're going to go to the next one. It's equally as good. So uh, very, very well prepared, uh, very well coached, uh, and very well executed. Their kids' roles are really easy to pick out. Hard as hell to defend, but easy to identify. Does the other thing I was going to ask is, do we have a, a definite decision on Miriam? Uh, is is she uh, has she made a decision of, about her uh, future? Be the same roster we had in Conway, so no. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. I'll let, I'll let somebody else go. Yep. Porter, we'll swing it to you. Coach, looking at the team, you know they're they're pretty much using their height. You know, top three scores: five, ten, six, one, six, one. So, do you think with your team and the height you have, that kind of helps you? match up well with them well maybe and maybe not uh, they're they can score out on the perimeter they can score on the block i gave the analogy to our kids just for a point of reference i said we're getting ready to play a team that's got 10 riley langermans and there was a noticeable groan from our team they're like oh no oh that means it's hard to guard they they play incredibly hard uh they tip balls around they they cut hard they screen hard they play together. They do things for their teammates. And it was a great compliment to Riley, but it, it's scary for us because we know we're going to have to really be locked up. You, you have to have – you have to be able to guard the post. You have to be able to guard a perimeter player, and you have to be guard all the ball screen actions. It's not – they can mix and match their, their pieces. So, um, when you look at them on film, too, uh, they look about the same size. I mean, Border, it's it, – you can't really – there's not a big difference between them size-wise. So, I hope that we may have a little advantage, but I certainly don't expect that'll be the case. They play bigger than they they are listed on their roster. I think I've asked this on another team. Just the focus, you know, Christmas break coming up, and then you got Ole Miss coming up. So what, what's really been the team's focus, really playing a team like Creighton and understanding this is a, a legit team coming into Bud Walton? Well, they've done a good job of doing that all the way, not getting too far ahead of themselves. And I think partly because – about the time maybe you could sense that that could happen, somebody – we have a roster lineup change. And that, that takes you right back to refocusing. I mean, that game Saturday uh, in Little Rock, it felt like our first game of the year again because that was 
we were with a new, it's a new team out there. It was a new rotation. We had new challenges. And so I think that has been one thing that the injuries have caused is we've not allowed ourselves to look ahead. Uh, they probably know we play Ole Miss to open just because it's the first game of the SEC. But there is, we've known all along, ever since we scheduled this game, that this is not your typical going into Christmas game where you're guaranteed a, a good chance to win, you know, just by showing up. This is one you better show up ready to play. We like to do those coming out of finals. Going into finals is a little, always, to me, a little different than coming out of them. Uh, and the distractions of getting everything ready for Christmas are obviously there. But, you know, they're there for Creighton, too. So it shouldn't be an advantage or a disadvantage. Uh, but for us, I think it's been mainly because we haven't been comfortable enough to allow ourselves to even look past the next practice. That's all I got. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, you got it. Christina. Coach, I was actually going to ask you about Riley um, and how you felt like she did in that kind of, you know, I know she'd started once before, but how she's yeah. kind of adjusting to that role. Well, I mean, I don't, we don't have enough data really to go on as one game, and I thought she did great in it. Um, I, I think Riley can do anything you ask her to do. I really do. I, I think we could ask her to play the five and uh, or bring the ball up before. I think we could ask her and she'd be ready for it, and she would excel in it. So I think she did great. I think she will continue to, to do great if that's the way that, you know, we have to play, but I, she's convinced me that uh, she'll do whatever, whenever, uh, for whatever reason. She's that player for us, and she's she's earned that with her teammates. Like I said, they when I when I made the statement that we were playing against a team full of hers, that was a I think it it kind of gave her a little pat on the back from her teammates. Like, oh boy, that's that's not going to be easy. Brett, I'm not sure where you are, but we'll swing it over to you. Yeah, you don't want to know where I am, but uh, Mike, piggybacking on your question in, in regards to the new rotations, what has been your biggest challenge in regards to maybe sticking with a, a lineup that's not producing because you don't have more depth or with foul trouble managing those minutes? How, what has been the biggest issue for you with two or three players down? Well, we just don't have too many options anymore. Used to, we had several options and several things. So the decision making has been real easy uh, because of the, there's not as many options to go to. The challenge is, you know, having to have some understanding. Again, Jersey has never in her life defended big five players. And I'm not going to expect her to go out there and, and be able to do that with three breakdown drills in two days of practice. Um, so you have to have some give and some take there. We're going we're gonna to get some, some times when we're, we're, we're not prepared, but I'm okay with that. I want them to be confident in what they do, focus on what they do well, and then do the best they can in the roles that we're asking them to fill. Um, you know, I, I think I, I just always try to put myself in a kid's spot. If, if you know, something had in, in the coaching world, if if Coach Pittman went down, they called me to come be the football co coach, I wouldn't be prepared. And I couldn't get prepared in two or three practices. I do my best, um, but I, I don't want those kids to feel like they have to be somebody other than who they've been, but give us this extra thing. So that, that's the challenge is trying to, as a coach, want them to be able to do the right things, but also understand that I haven't prepared them enough uh, to be able to do some of those things. So there's a give, give and take there. But what I do love the most is that none of our kids have said, oh, man, I can't do that. It's been, all right, I'm going to do the best I can. Teach me what I really need to know. Uh, coach me up on those two or three or four or five things that how many ever I can handle. And, and then understand that, you know, I'm going to make some mistakes. As long as I make them going full speed, that keeps going back to be something we talk about a lot. Just, you know, we use that reference. I think talking to y'all, leave that cut out like in a cartoon when you run through a wall. Make sure you do it going full speed. Online has you covered for all the holiday season. More props, odds, and lines than ever before. Bet Online remains your number one spot for all sports action. Head to our new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus with the promo code BELIEVE to receive your bonus. That's B L E A V to receive your bonus. And it's not just football. Bet Online has pro and college hoops, NHL, boxing, UFC, even your favorite. Favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait to take advantage of all these amazing offers available for the 2021 season. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports.